It's Tuesday. Uh, I'm a bit behind on getting a video out and a bunch of little things have built up since Johnny got in. So we just cobbled together a bunch of little things that we filmed since he got in. So last Saturday I had a longer ride and I decided to end it by climbing up the Sandia Crest. What do you got to say? You got a bone to pick with the internet. It's at 10,300 feet. It's 10,600. It just breaks your heart when you've been climbing that long. But nothing to warm me up like. <sighs> Altitude really gets you after 8,500 feet. Christ, this is beautiful though. These trees, man. Well, I can't think of a better way to end a five hour ride than climbing for an hour and a half up to 10,500 feet. Just out on the day. It's like 80 miles on the day, but at the five hour mark, important. Good thing I'm up. That was tough, but I had been waiting to do that since I got to Albuquerque. In fact, as soon as I knew we were coming here, I Googled best bike climbs in Albuquerque, and that was one of the first things that came up. Uh, it's quite the elevation profile, um, but it was awesome, and uh, Johnny had Annie waiting for me at the top and got possibly the sickest picture ever taken of me. Uh, and then on Sunday, I gave myself a haircut, so of course we filmed that. All right, so one of the skills I picked up during quarantine was cutting my own hair. So it's fun to do. It's a very zen activity because it's really hard to reach the back of your head, so it requires a lot of focus. And uh, no fear of failure, because um, at the end of the day, you might f up your own hair and you just gotta live with it. Got a pretty minimal setup here. Four guard sizes. Just a one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go two, four. how it looks, but uh, par. And then on Wednesday, Johnny and I went to the track to knock out some 300s. <sighs> Me and Johnny Pace, just like old times back in Seaville. Um, we are heading to La Cueva High School to go get a track workout, get in some 300s at 5K pace. Yeah, our first time working out together in like two years. Two years, yeah, man. There was the whole torn Achilles thing in there, and yeah, and then um, what was that thing that ended everything? Yeah. So a little global pandemic. Oh yeah, that uh, thing too. Yeah. So, but better two years late than never. I'm slowly falling in love with this city. It's 
Wednesday, a day for my one running workout of the week. On tap today is uh, three sets of five by 300 with a hundred jog. So um, the, the hundred jog is in 30 seconds, so, so pretty slow, but it's not that much rest. 300's aiming for in the range of 50 seconds, if it's 52 or 48, um, that's fine. It's more about just getting used to 1340 to 14 minute pace, um, short rest and yeah, just getting in more work because I'm pretty short on running workouts these days. So one session like this, you know, makes a makes a big difference. Um, I'm pretty tired. It's not a sandbag. It's just a, a fact. So you know, I'm still looking to execute this workout and then take tomorrow and Friday really easy and make sure I actually get all the gains that I want to from it. So let's go get her done. Drive pace was 50-ish, and uh, almost every rep was, you know, 49 point, 49 low, and uh, you know, didn't have to really gut it out to get those last few. I was able to just relax, get the work in, and uh, you know, that leaves me in a better spot going into the rest of the week easier to recover and uh, what is that 4,500 meters of work at you know 65 second pace 66 second pace so just what the doctor ordered so I made that beat last week it's absolute flames pretty different than the style I usually end up with but I had a lot of fun putting it together I post my beats on Patreon, so if you like that beat, head over there. You can download it and get all my other beats as well. I get a lot of questions about what my strength routine is. I'm actually really, really inconsistent with strength work. Uh, it's one of my biggest flaws as an athlete, but I filmed one of my sessions. Uh, it includes some exercises that I think are really effective, and all I used for this was a 35-pound dumbbell and a balance board. Uh, so not much equipment. And uh, I like the beat I made last week so much that I'm also going to put it over this strength routine. So hopefully you enjoy it as well.
thank you for watching and supporting. Uh, we're just under a month from my 5K season opener in Austin. Really excited to race uh, and stay tuned because we have something really big planned for the month of March. Huge shout out to all of my patrons on Patreon. Uh, I've really enjoyed talking with you guys over the past few weeks and just know that your contributions are literally helping me put food on the table uh, and allowing me to continue to chase my dream.